Every year during Holy Week, the faithful receive an agonizing reminder of the brutality Christ endured in his final hours. A dramatic bilingual reenactment depicts the arrest, trial, and suffering of Jesus. He comes out with scars on his back when he, it's all over with. It's very real. Thousands of spectators are led on a spiritual journey, taking time to repent and reflect. This sacred ritual takes weeks to prepare. I'd like to thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for this weather. Director Edgar Olguin starts rehearsals after Ash Wednesday. I've been doing it for almost 23 years. Twice a week, cast members gather in the shadow of San Fernando, a nosotros no nos permite la ley. doing at least three run-throughs each night. An all-volunteer cast can be challenging. Trying to get them to, one, show to practice, right? Ya que se dice rey. And second, o sea, to memorize their lines. Camina. Plus, the acting experience is minimal. I do tell them, look, the last time you acted was in your fifth grade playing, right, and you were a tree, of course you're not going to be able to duplicate it. So I just tell them, relax, learn it. Y él está en Jerusalén en estos días. Once you memorize it, everything comes in place. Many of these actors rely on a higher power to help direct them. I do a lot of daily prayer, you know, just for, for guidance, for some wisdom. Pero es que tú paras aquí. The plane now requires a backup for the most important role of Jesus. Due to COVID, if we decided to have an understudy, just never know, it might, he might get sick and then uh, we might have to stop the play. Para que no cayera en las manos de los judíos. Recruited from San Fernando's youth program is Raul Garcia, a freshman at UTSA. He plays the role of Jesus Christ. It's an easy task to fill his shoes. I'm going to be getting whipped. I'll be carrying the cross. It's not a light cross, it's quite heavy. It's a big thing, you know. Like, uh, it's nerve-wracking. Olga Villasenor, a volunteer since 1999, calls the experience her passion. I'm one of the good ones. I'm not the one that yell, crucify him or kill him. I really get into the moment. I go back to that time. Good Friday is traditionally a day of sorrow, made all the more powerful by the devotion of the faithful. Me has At 12 o'clock when the bells ring, that's when he bows his head. Their revival of the Passion of Christ prepares us for a more joyous occasion, the celebration of the resurrection on Easter Sunday. It hurts, but I wouldn't miss it for the world. Alicia Neyavis, Ken's Five.